So welcome back. I'm now on question number four on Mr. Hassan's math channel for this paper made in 2020, paper four from the 0580 International GCSE Cambridge exam. This is variant one, paper four, variant one. And this question here is about transformations. It's a very short question, a couple of parts. So it says, draw the image of triangle T after a reflection in the line y equals minus 1. Now the line y equals minus 1 is a horizontal line passing through 1 or minus 1 on the y-axis. Now unfortunately a lot of students they mix up their lines and they and they I, I see this comment quite a lot even with the, even with some of the A-level students that um, comment on the um, the channel that how come this is the line y equals negative one when the y-axis is vertical okay so the y-axis is vertical this should say x equals minus one because the x-axis is vertical no that's completely wrong on the x-axis the value of y is always zero if you write down the coordinates of any point on the y-axis on the x-axis you have one zero two zero three zero four zero that's the reason why the y value is always zero the x value is one and the y value is always zero two zero three zero four zero this is the x this is the y on the y axis we can see the x value is always zero this is zero five zero four zero three zero two and so on so that's why the y axis is equation is x equals zero and the x axis is equation is y equals zero any horizontal line <coughs> will go through the y value that it passes on the, on the y-axis at every point on that line. So this will be um, minus 6, minus 1, negative 5, negative 1, 2, negative 1, 5, negative 1, 6, negative 1. All these points will have negative 1 in their y-coordinate. Therefore, this is the line y equals negative 1. Any vertical line will go through x equals that value at every point on it. So a vertical line going through 3, for example, will be x equals 3. So that's why. Horizontal lines have got the y equals 1 or, or y equals in their equation. So y equals negative 1 because y is negative 1 on every point in this line. So we have to reflect triangle T, which is the shaded one, in the line y equals negative 1. So a reflection is such that <coughs> every point is the same distance from the mirror line, okay, which is the line that's been reflected through, but on the other side of the mirror line. So this point, you, you, you know, the perpendicular distance between this point and the mirror line, its reflection will be the same distance on the other side. So this point is going to be reflected to this point over there, two squares below. And this will be two squares also below. And this is going to be three squares below, because this is three squares above this side, so it's going to be three squares below. So therefore, you're going to have your triangle, which will look like, let me draw it with a a solid line so your triangle will look something like this try of course when you do this try and make uh, make it neat with a ruler and try and do it as accurate as you can so you here you have this is the answer so to part a so you could even write here part a just to show that you're answering part a over there that's always better to do so that's drawing the image of t after reflection in the line y equals minus one the answer to part a is there now <coughs> for part b it says, draw the image of triangle T after a rotation through 90 degrees clockwise about 0, 0. So we've got to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise. Now, what I'm going to do here, um, I'm going to suggest you, you use gra um, tracing paper. Tracing paper makes this very, very easy for you to do. So you should make sure that your school has tracing paper available for you during your exam. Okay, you should try to make sure that that happens. Always try to make sure that you get tracing paper available for you during your exam. Okay, that's something that um, uh, will really help. The examining board is supposed to bring it, but just in case, make sure that your teacher tells the examiners in the morning <coughs> of the exam that they should be tracing paper. If they don't, the school should provide it for them because that will help in this particular topic. So I'm going to just zoom out a little bit. Okay, in fact, even a little bit more. So we can see what's happening here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some tracing paper that I have prepared earlier. 
So what I've done is I've got this, I mean, I'm using, using this app to do this, but basically I have got this tracing paper. Now you just need to have enough tracing paper to basically go over this shape, okay? And the origin about which it's going to be rotated. So you put the tracing paper over, okay, your uh, grid, and you trace on the tracing paper this triangle, which I've done already. And then you put the pencil on the center of rotation, which in this case is the origin, which is here. You, you put your pencil on that, and then you rotate the tracing paper around clockwise 90 degrees. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to rotate it clockwise 90 degrees. I can see that when this circle thing reaches the x-axis like that, I've gone through 90 degrees. So there we have our shape. Now, because it's not quite centered properly, it won't come up exact, but it's, it's going to be these four points over here that it rotates, ro rotates so it's going to have this point. Now what you do is under your tracing paper, you have to lift up your tracing paper and put these points down under the paper or you can just remember where they are. And when you remove the tracing paper, you can then join those points together with straight lines. So we end up with our rotated shape, rotated through 90 degrees. Okay, try to be as accurate as you can. And there we have our answer. So this is the rotation through 90 degrees. Okay, and this is part B. So there's part A and part B done. And then it says, describe fully the single transformation that maps T onto A. Now T and A are both, they both have the same type of orientation. It's like T has been just picked up and moved over there. It hasn't been reflected, it hasn't been rotated, okay? It's the same shape and the same size and the same orientation. So this is what is caused by what's called a translation, okay? And a translation is where something is just moved, not rotated, not reflected. So to describe a translation, you have to mention that it is a translation. So you mentioned, you have to mention the word translation, okay? Translation. And then the other thing you should mention is how it's been translated. Now, a very easy way to describe translations is using vectors. So if you choose a point, for example, let's choose the right angle on this. Therefore, you have to choose the same point on the, the other object. It's from T to A, T to A. So you start at T and you see what vector will take you from T to A. So horizontally, you're going to go from minus 4 to 1. That's 5 units to the right. So that will be the vector on top, 5. Horizontal is on top minus 4 to 1 and then vertically you're going from 1 to negative 5 so that's going down by 6 units so it's going to be minus 6 so you have to go across 5 to the right and 6 down and that will take you from this point to this point in fact it will take you from any point to any point on this on from this triangle to that so this point to its corresponding point okay where this uh, you know narrow as uh, the smallest angle is you can see that will also be 5 to the right and 6 down Okay, so <coughs> every point is translated by the same amount. That's why the shape looks the same. So the translation is 5, negative 6. So that is enough for you to get the full marks. When it says describe fully, they don't want you to just say translation. They want you also to describe what vector that translation is. And there we have the marks for this question, question number 4. Again, pretty straightforward. Nothing really too complex about that. Um, Okay, so that's our, the question on trans transformations. <coughs> Thank you for watching other um, questions on this paper, from this particular paper, this 4-1, uh, variant 1, paper 4, can be found in this playlist that will be over there. And in this playlist, you'll find questions to do with transformations. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.